In the world of vacuums, one name seemingly stands alone atop Suction Mountain, the Rolls-Royce of vacuums, Dyson. This is the Dyson DC44 Animal Cordless Digital Slim Vacuum, and our friends over at VacuumDirect.com sent this fine piece of machinery for us to give it one of our famous Clean My Space reviews. This is also great as a follow-up to our Dyson DC30 review, which I did not too long ago, and you can see right here. After the DC30 review, a lot of you said, as impressive as the vacuum was, you probably wouldn't be interested in it because it didn't do enough for you. The six minute battery life just didn't cut the mustard, and it just seemed to fall short on the functionality scale for the average home especially given the high price tag. So in my ongoing efforts to make you all the most informed cleaning product consumers in the world, here is a more robust alternative in the smaller vacuum realm. I present to you the review for the Dyson DC44. Now, as you guys know, I am a big fan of the Dyson already. So I'm going to give you an overview of all the pieces here and kind of tell you what I really like about them. I also have to say, I love the color of this particular um, extension pole. Like purple's my favorite color in case you guys couldn't tell and this is just like gorgeously attractive. Okay, so we have the main body, which is very similar to the DC30 already. Two features I'll point out to you are, Back here you have a max power button, so if you press that in, this will work OT to get all of the dirty, nasty, tiny little things out that you probably couldn't remove with a regular DC30. One thing to keep in mind, if that's pressed down for the entire time, you will actually drain your battery in eight minutes, but that's eight minutes of continuous use as opposed to 20 minutes of regular use without the max button pressed down. Your battery pack is under here. It's easy to access by just pressing down this silver button, pulling it out and popping it back in. Dysons are so easy to use and so easy to maneuver, which is a great thing about them. Um, you have your filter release, which is right there. Obviously you're gonna do that over a garbage can. Boom, so very easy, very lightweight. And the trigger is right there. So the thing I really like about this, some people complain about the fact that it doesn't have a continuous button, but at the same time, given the fact that you only have 20 minutes of regular use, I think it's actually to your benefit that you have to pull the trigger each time you wanna use it. Really helps conserve battery power. Charger, pretty straightforward. You also have a docking station. This is the combination tool. We also got this in the DC30. I really like it because you've got the brush which allows you to do things like dust your window coverings, your blinds, and then this red piece here, which no one ever knows what it's for, but I do. It's to help pick up any ground in uh, hair. So particularly great for people with cats and dogs. This provides friction and it scratches up all of that hair. This is a crevice tool. And the thing that a crevice tool is used for the most is for getting into crevices. Next, you have the mini motorized head. This is fabulous for cleaning out your car. I mean, if you can take this little guy and attach this little power head to it, and we know it's a power head because it has the two plug, uh, I don't know what they're called, it has the little plug thing down there, and it just pops in like that, you can use this in your car. And it's fabulous because it does have that beater bar, that power head, and it's got a really thick red strip, which we already covered with the previous piece. Then, and this is why it's called the animal, and this is why this is just an awesome little vacuum. You've got this power head. So not only do you have this, I mean, very multifaceted power head, I believe they say these black pieces here are carbon filaments. And what they do is they help pick up 
static, um, statically charged dust in your carpets. Like, it's so scientific and so well designed. It's just absolutely brilliant. Um, the furry purple piece there really helps protect your hard floors from any scratches, but also allows you to easily transition to carpet, so that's really terrific. And the importance of having a good, powerful beater bar is to pull all of that stuff out of your carpet. So the fact that they've spent so much time on getting whatever they have in this power head just right, that's a huge benefit to you. And it's got the V-ball, so it just makes maneuvering and vacuuming so much easier and you'll see that in the demo. And then finally, you have this aluminum extension pole. Why do I say it's aluminum? Because it's light, it's not heavy, it's not gonna hurt your arm, doesn't require a whole bunch of extra effort and it allows us to get up high and down low. Here's a powerhead comparison. The two on the end are from the DC44 and the one in the middle comes from my full-sized DC23 canister vacuum. Let's start with the larger power head. It snaps on easily to the extension pole and right away I've discovered the biggest advantage of the vacuum. It's so lightweight. I also like how small it is because I can get under furniture with ease. After doing the first room, which is about 15 by 20, here's the dust ball I've managed to collect. Gross, right? And look at this. This is a really awkward space, but so much easier to vacuum because I'm not dealing with a canister or wires. On to the hallway, and I also took care of my office and my husband's office. All told, about 600 square feet of carpet in total. Let's change things up to the mini power head, which is even better at getting in awkward spaces. Now, let's take the extension pole off and we'll use it to vacuum one of Molly's favorite chairs. Clearly, she was not too happy about me trying to uh, clean her space. On my couch, which is also a favorite spot of the cats, the DC44 quickly picked up cat hair, dander, and heavens knows what else. Stairs. This is where the machine is a real godsend. You can use the vacuum with or without the extension pole, and I found this made the task of vacuuming stairs exponentially easier. It had the power to get the crap out of the carpet without all the lugging and maneuvering. I used the brush attachment to take care of lampshades, blinds, and my laptop keyboard. Using the extension pole, I easily vacuumed picture frames and door frames. I found some crevices to clean up with ease. And one last thing, I tried it on hardwood floors because I knew you guys would be curious. Of course, it did a great job and cleaned the floors beautifully. So considering the size, the fact that it's cordless and lightweight, it actually does a really great job and it's incredibly versatile, more so than the DC30. Now, I can't expect this to replace every vacuuming need I have, but if it must be known, vacuuming is my least favorite cleaning task. And I'd have to say it's because of the bulkiness of the vacuum and managing the hose and the cord and the canister and all that stuff. So, with that in mind, this is a smaller, sleeker tool that can handle most vacuuming needs with the understanding that it complements a full-size vacuum in a larger home. When I used to live in a condo and had literally no extra space, this would have been a dream machine because it could handle the vacuuming needs of my few hundred square feet. One of the major criticisms of this particular unit is that a 20-minute battery life is useless. Keep in mind that it offers you 20 minutes of vacuuming time, like this, not 20 minutes to vacuum. I don't know about you, but I actually find it very cumbersome to have to keep unplugging and replugging in my vacuum whenever I move around. And also when you're vacuuming, you're not running the machine a lot of the time because you're moving things out of the way or you have to maneuver this way or that way. And I often find myself bending down to turn off the vacuum, doing my thing, and then bending down, turning it back on. So I actually find the 20 minute battery life to be okay and I really like the fact that I can manipulate it just with the pull of a trigger. I usually have a list of cons that I associate with a product when I do a review. I was 
very thorough with my review of this vacuum as you saw not too long ago. And I will say, I didn't really find much fault with it. It's an expensive unit and I think that's what people get upset about or complain about or they want to find fault with the item. There's really not much wrong with this. It's very well designed, it's good quality, it does what it needs to do and it will last. So if you have the money and this is within your budget and you need a stiff vacuum, this is a great option and I feel really, really excited that I actually get to use one. Don't forget to like the video and let me know in the comment box if this review has helped you with your purchase decision, either to buy or not to buy the Dyson DC44. Oh yeah, and if you haven't already, subscribe to catch more of our greatest cleaning videos, including tips, tricks, giveaways, and a ton of other cleaning stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.